Ladies and gentlemen, we interrupt your regularly scheduled programming to bring you this special bulletin. Whenever individuals are writing a book or ta having a conversation with someone, you always bring up a personal experience. You have a tendency to, at least, bring up personal experiences to make something relatable, whether it's in conversation, a review, or writing a story. But my goodness, the lengths individuals will go to to make what's supposed to be a video game review article all about yourself, while at the same time insulting the people who criticize you is on a whole nother level. But obviously, who could I possibly be talking about? Well, none other than the good old Melissa Mercante, senior executive editor? Senior editor? Ah, who cares? At Kotaku. I'll see you next Tuesday at Kotaku who, amazingly enough, is maybe doing her job now, at least for a little bit, in this Elden Ring Shadow of Erd Tree review. Massive, menacing, and magnificent from software's highly anticipated DLC could be a standalone game. My goodness, you actually have something positive to say about a video game. However, it just gets so much better because maybe in an attempt to make make the video game relatable to your personal life, all you do is ended up exposing your narcissism and insulting everyone, insulting the people who are going to come actually read this. Hours into playing Elden Ring, Shadows of Erdtree, the massive singular expansion for From Software's award-winning 2022 action RPG, I realize it's paralleling my real life. And so it begins. Until Elden Ring, I avoided souls like get good scrub. Their punishing difficulties get good scrub, and rigid boundaries frustrated me immensely. Well, get good scrub. I hit a wall in Dark Souls Remastered and gave up. Scrub, barely touching Bloodborne, and avoided Sekiro like it was a poison swamp. And here's where we have the fun begins. In the real world, I have mostly avoided the ire of homophobes and misogynists, to which those are the, the people she's referring to are anyone and everyone who criticizes the things that she says, calls her out on her nonsense, calls her out on constant uh, false accusations, making physical challenges to people and then backing out of them. Those are the homophobes and misogynists in the games industry, writing an article that temporarily shakes them up before fading into relative obscurity once Reddit refreshes. Huh? Ah, uh, avoided those people. Well, here's an easy way to avoid them. Step one, stop running your mouth on social media. Stop calling out the chads on social media. Stop slinging insults to potential readers of your website. You know, the website you work for that you're supposed to be making money for instead of turning people away over and over and over again with your nonsense. Stop calling for harassment campaigns against someone who hurt your fee-fees with words. Maybe, just maybe, stick to video game reviews instead of op-ed pieces about one thing or another or another. And perhaps maybe will definitely let you fade into relative obscurity. But now I am willingly subjecting myself to arduous adventure, ruining running headfirst into the proverbial wall just to shake it off back up and run into it again. Outside of the lands between and the shadow realm, I have spent nearly four months as the subject of a nearly endless harassment campaign. Again, your side started this when you went after Sweet Baby Detected and Cabrutus Rambo. You started it. When you started championing for people like Kim Belair and Sweet Baby Stench. So please forgive. When gamers feel like their escapism is being attacked, they will have something to say. This near endless harassment campaign, as you like to call it, is nothing more than your own words, your own videos, your own statements being called out for the nonsense that it is. So, as I said before, here's an idea. Stop with your bullshit. It feels at times like logging on for a day of work is akin to walking through a boss door over and over again. Turn off Twitter and just do your job and leave your foolish opinions out of it.
When people go to Kotaku for a video game review, they want to see the video game review. They don't want to hear about your real life struggles and strifes and how a comparable a video game is to what you believe is happening in your real life. Is that called your truth? That would be your perspective. Nobody's interested in that. Except for individuals like me who are going to point and laugh and make fun of you. Stop it, Alyssa. And maybe it'll all go away. Just do your job. Let's continue. Now, right after this, there's spoiler warnings. I will not be going that far. This lovely two, li two little paragraphs left, ladies and gentlemen. Before I even make that connection between my real world and from software's game world, you already did that. You spent, what, two paragraphs in the beginning of this? Two paragraphs of nonsense comparing it so... Bit late for that. I subconsciously attack Shadow of the Erd Tree with dogged determination, as if besting a boss would bleed it into my every day and imbue me with a higher tier of self-confidence. Oh, that's true. We live in an age where words are violence. Words hurt your feelings and lack self-confidence. You surround yourself with yes men and clapping seals. So where are you at a loss of self-confidence? You had enough confidence to issue a challenge to people to come fight you for real. And then, of course, you know, crawfished out of that in a heartbeat faster than I could even make a video. And yet you want to talk about self-confidence. It's called narcissism. Much like how it feels to receive near endless hate comments because of your nonsensical statements on social media. From anonymous accounts and angry middle-aged men. Anonymous accounts and angry middle-aged men. You get those same comments from women. Why are you actually leaving those out? Vara Dark is a woman. She went after you. She had a few choice things to say about your opinion. Mara Jade. Mara Jade actually even answered your challenge to which you backed out in a heartbeat. Hmm. But we're only going to call out middle-aged men trying to almost like you're trying to push a narrative that doesn't actually exist and has no discernible proof to back it up. But what else can we expect from the likes of Alyssa Mercante and Kotaku? I face Shadow of the Earth Tree entirely alone. Oh, woe is me. There's no one here beside me. Anyway. Ah, no multiplayer summons would work for me in early access. I feature a uh, feature I relied on in the base game because you're terrible at it. Just admit. Learn to code. <laughs> Those are jokes, people. So I faced it solo and, after almost 20 hours, came out, as Renala said, Born anew. Oh, how dramatic this all is. I will admit this. Some of Alyssa's writing and everything, although did she actually write this? Who knows? It's not terrible. Rather dramatic, which isn't bad. Continuously insulting the view, the reader, and any and all criticism, of course, is par for the course for a Kotaku writer and the likes of Alyssa Mercante. But I, I don't know. I'll give her this. She's got a pretty good way with words. At least, at least when she has time to write them. Put on the spot in front of a camera. Yeah, that's a little, little bit different. There is so much in Shadow of the Erd Tree, from new equipment and enemies to stunning vistas to an unparalleled lore dump that bears the fingerprints of J.R.R. Martin because he can't finish writing Winds of Winter. But anyway, that I'm confident anyone who plays it will walk away changed. We would love it if you walked away changed and maybe actually stepped away, did your job, and stopped insulting people, stopped calling people out. Just do your job. And get back to writing articles instead of op-ed, mo moronic, opinionated pieces where you insult people over and over and over again. But the lovely Ms. Alyssa McConte halfway did her job. The rest of this, if you want to go read the article, probably not. Hey, But goes into more spoilers, and I'm going to be nice. I'm not going to be getting into that because I got no, I have a, probably quite a few of you that are looking forward to the game. Hope you buy it. Did Alyssa's lovely little review change your mind, get you to want to go buy the book, or is just buy the book? Buy the game. Okay. That's enough for me tonight. Leave a like, leave a dislike. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Do to all those nifty little things that YouTube is begging you to do. And I hope to see you on the next one.